Hello everyone, and welcome back for another episode of The Painting Paladin. In case you've forgotten, my name is Justin. Now just a few weeks ago, I made my yearly pilgrimage to Schaumburg, where I paid my respects to the Dice Gods and attended Adepticon. Although I did not play anything while I was there, I did buy a bunch of stuff from the vendor hall. One of the things I got was the new box set, Age of Darkness by Games Workshop. Now this box set comes with loads of Space Marine and Mark VI power armor. It also comes with a Contemptor Dreadnought, Cataphracty Terminators, Praetors to lead them, and the jewel of the box, the Spartan Land Raider. Now this box set is set up to be split in half and used for two players to start learning to play the game. I, however, am painting them all as one army, and that's going to be the Space Wolves. Now when going through my pile of shame, I found a lot of Space Wolf bits, so I started incorporating them into my pre-heresy Space Wolves. However, I didn't have enough bits for everybody, so some of them are just standard looking miniatures. Anyways, I should probably get to the point of this video. Today, I will be painting one of those standard miniatures, a Space Wolves Terminator in the pre-heresy color scheme. So let's head on over to the work desk and get started on this, shall we? Okay, so before we begin, I undercoated this model with Mechanicus Standard Gray. Now the first color that we're going to be using is Dawnstone, and we're going to paint this all over the body since that's the main color of this model. Alright, with that main color applied, we can move on to the next color. Now the next color that we're going to be using is Balthazar Gold. And we're going to use this to paint all the trim pieces. Alright, now that that trim is all painted up, we can move on to our next color. Now the next color that we're going to be using is Mornfang Brown, and we're going to use this to paint all the leather. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Lead Belcher. Now we're going to use this to mainly paint the metal parts on the bolt gun. And we're also going to get those little fans that are on the back of the Terminator. Okay, now that we got that done, we can move on to our next step. Now the next step is going to be getting ready to paint the pack markings. Now before we do that though, I'm actually going to draw these on with a pencil so I know exactly where they're going to go and I'll have nice straight clean lines. Now I'm going to be doing triangle shapes and I'm going to be painting them in between these two rivets here on the bottom and using the center of the rivets to mark where the peak of my triangle is going to go and I'm going to do that all along this shoulder pad here. So just take your time and plan your uh, pack markings out beforehand. You don't have to do the same as me but this is what I did. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that we got those drawn out, we can move on to actually painting them in. Now the color I'm going to be using for this is Zandri Dust. So just take your time and follow the lines and paint that in. Okay, so with that Zandri dust applied, we can move on to our next color. And our next color is going to be Uriel Yellow. And we're going to paint that right over the top of the Zandri dust. Okay, so moving on to our next color. The next color that we're going to be using is a bad in black. Now we're going to use this for a couple different areas. We're going to use this to paint the bolt gun casing and the handle of the bolter, the tubes that are on the Terminator's back, all of the joints in the Terminator, and we're also going to use this to paint the opposite side on the shoulder pad where the pack marking's at. So just take your time and work your way around the model. Okay, with that done, this model is coming along nicely, and it's actually almost finished. You could probably stop here if you wanted to, but we're going to keep going. So the next step that we're going to do is shading. Now we're going to do two different types of shading on this model. We're going to do recess shading and an all-over wash. So the first thing we're going to do is the recess shading. Now if you're not familiar with recess shading, it's where you take your brush, load up your wash, and use a fine tip brush when doing this and then gently paint it into the recesses of the model. So just take your time and work your way around the model. Okay, so now that we got the recess shading done, we can move on to the next step and that's the all over shading. Now we're going to use this to shade all over the leather straps, the bolt gun and bolt gun casing, and all of the belts are gold. So just take your time and work your way around the model. All right, so with that done, the last thing we need to do is paint his visor. Now we're going to be using the color Memphiston Red for this, and we're just going to gently and slowly take our time and paint in the eye area. Okay, so with that done, all that's left is to base this guy. Now remember, when basing your miniature, you want to base him the same as the rest of your army.
All right, now that we've finished this model, he is ready to join the rest of his pack and head to the battlefield against those traitors who turn their back on the Emperor. Now, a few things to remember when painting this model. The first is, when painting Space Wolves, the pack marking on their shoulder is helpful for denoting which squad they're in. Using different colors and symbols is helpful for remembering what squad that miniature is in, and I think it's a much cooler effect than decals. Second is, and I haven't said this in a while, but take your time to avoid making any mistakes. But if you make any mistakes, you can always go back to your previous colors and correct it. With all that being said, if you like the video and want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Also, my 3D printers have been working overtime for a few bigger projects, so look forward to them. Once again, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.